Here's an example video for the topic factoring a quadratic equation with a negative leading coefficient. In this example, we will use the method described by the Miller textbook series found in the Alex system to factor the quadratic negative 5y squared minus 28y minus 15. Because it is generally difficult to factor a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient, the first thing we want to do is actually get rid of the negative sign by factoring it out. So if we divide by negative 1 on each term of this expression, we will, we will have negative 1 times 5y squared plus 28y plus 15. As shown here, we divided negative 5y squared by negative 1, got 5y squared. Negative 28y divided by negative 1, 28y. And same with negative 15 divided by negative 1, we get positive 15. And so now we can factor 5y squared plus 28y plus 15 and only worry about that. Now in this method, we want to start by finding two factors of 5 that we will use for our final factors. The only two factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So factors of 5 are 1 and 5. Now I will show why we found these two factors of 5. When we factor a quadratic, the final result will be two linear factors in this form y plus m times y plus n. Now when we expand these two factors by using the FOIL method, we would have something in the form of y squared plus yn times ym times mn. If we want to get a leading coefficient of 5 in our final expanded answer, then we would use these two factors, 1 and 5, as our leading coefficients in the linear factors. So we have 1y and 5y, because when we multiply those, 1y times 5y will be 5y squared. We can now expand this out by multiplying the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. And after doing so, we would get 5y squared plus ny plus 5my plus mn. First of all, this ny and 5my are two like terms, so we can add them together to get 5m plus n all times y. Now if we compare this, 5y squared plus 5m plus ny plus mn with 5y squared plus 28y plus 15, we see some relations here. Here's our 5y squared. Here, this right here, 5n plus n corresponds to 28. And we see here that mn corresponds to 15, the third term in our quadratic. So if we want to solve our quadratic, we want to figure out our two factors, we can equate this to that and that to that, saying 5m plus n equals 28 and mn equals 15. We want to find the integers m and n such that mn equals 15 and 5m plus n equals 28. Therefore, when we find our m and n that work for both these equations, we can plug the m value we get into this factor here and we could plug the n value into this factor here, and we would have our two final factors of this quadratic. So we will make a table to organize the options we're going to try. Essentially, m and n will be two factors of 15. So we'll find factors of 15 that we can also plug in to the expression 5n plus n to see if that equals 28. And if we find an m and n value that satisfy both, we will have our answer. So we can start out by thinking of, say, m equals 1 and n equals 15, two factors of 15. If we plug these into this expression here, we have 5 times 1 for m plus 15 for n. That equals 5 plus 15, which equals 20. So that does not work. We can now try 15 and 1. If we plug 15 in for m, we have 5 times 15 plus 1. 15 times 5, 5 equals 75, 
75 plus 1 equals 76. That definitely does not work. We can now try 3 for m and 5 for m. So we now try this expression 5 times 3 for m plus 5 for n. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 5 equals 20. Well, that also doesn't work because we're looking for 28. Now we can try 5 and 3. We plug in 5 for m, so 5 times 5, and then plus 3 for n. We get 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 equals 28. This matches what we're looking for. We have 5n plus n equals 28, and we have 5 times 3 equals 15. Therefore, m equals 5, and n equals 3. So we can plug these into these factors. We'll have final factors 1y, such so as y, plus 5 for m, times 5y, plus 3 for n. And we cannot forget, at the end, we did factor out a negative 1 in the beginning. So to show that we did factor it out, we'll have a negative here. And our final answer will be negative times a factor of y plus 5 times a factor of 5y plus 3.